Colour can be a core element of an image, and as professional photographers, we should aim to always be in control of the hues in our frames. However, this doesn't always mean being in control during capturing the image, as editing software such as Affinity Photo offers photographers a high degree of control when it comes to managing colours in post-processing. One of the most useful features in Affinity Photo is the adjustment layer options, which enables photographers to make big changes in a non-destructive manner, meaning they don't change the image forever and can be removed during the edit process. Selective Colour is an adjustment layer option that puts photographers in the driving seat of controlling the colour, and allowing you to completely change a hue from its starting point. This can not only be used to correct colours, so photographers can make them original as possible, but also opens up many creative opportunities to explore. Better still, the process takes just a few minutes, so let's see how it comes together. Once you have opened your image in Affinity Photo, make sure you are in the software's Photo Persona. If not, just head to the top left of the interface and click on the Affinity logo, which is the Photo Persona. Next, head to the Layers panel, which is on the right-hand side of the interface, and at the bottom, you'll find a half-white, half-black circle, and this is the Adjustments option. When you click on it, a number of options will appear. This is where users can pick from levels, white balance, black and white for example, but the one we want, of course, is selective colour. So once you've found this, just click on it. A dialog box will appear and will give you an option of clicking on a drop down menu bar, listing a number of various colours, reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, magentas, whites, neutrals and blacks. Once you select a colour, you've then got four slider bars, cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Once you move the sliders, the colours in the frame will begin to change. Within this dialog box, you'll see a box called Relative. When ticked, the software will work with the colour range that is relative to the image you're working with. If you untick the box, you may well find that the colour change is too heavy and compromises the look of the image. Although it may be tempting to adjust colours such as reds and cyans, Affinity Photo also allows users to experiment with whites, neutrals and blacks. When adjusting the sliders with these options selected, you can add a noticeable cast that will really benefit the finished image. However, the effect can be overloaded quickly, so use the effect sparingly. Now, as you have added an adjustment layer, you can remove areas that you wish to return to the original colour. Head to the left hand side of the interface, to the toolbar area, and select the paintbrush tool. The keyboard shortcut for this is B. You can change the size of this brush using the square bracket keys. And with the brush set to black, you can hide the pixels from this layer. So for example, in my image, although I've changed the brake caliper to orange, I want to return the main Porsche badge to its original red. So if the hardness set to 0%, I'm going to stop brushing this out. And as you can see, the orange is disappearing and the original color, which is the red, has reappeared. You can review the changes you've made by heading back to the layers panel, finding the selective color adjustment layer and clicking it on and off, which is a useful option to have. One last tip, you can add a secondary adjustment layer. So I'm going to head back to the adjustments option, head to HSL. I'm going to ramp up the saturation just to make the colors really pop. There we go. All you have to do now is go to file, scroll down to export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG or TIFF. There we go. Have fun using selective color with your images. And thanks for watching.